Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Beyond the Mat with your host, me, J. Cole Yoga. I'm actually sitting on a mat right now on the floor, believe it or not. <clears throat> um, today's show is about... Um, juice. Mm, juice. I keep looking at myself in the camera, but you guys are right in there. Not over here. Right in there. But it's hard to see the little blended in uh, camera lens in my phone. So <clears throat> here we are. Today is about diets. A lot of people ask about my diet a little too much <laughs> ever since I became like fully vegan. A lot of people struggle with the idea of someone else being a vegan. Like it's really hard for them to wrap their mind around this thing and it's just constantly asking me, well, what's Jay going to eat? What's Jason going to do? And what's he eating? And what are you doing? And what's happening over there? And what are you making? And I'm like, the answer is always vegetables. <laughs> That's it. Vegetables. That's what I'm eating. Rice, quinoa, vegetables every day. Every day. Repeat, repeat, repeat. But uh, <clears throat> it's a little more involved than that. I'm going to try and get the right nutrients and everything that I need. The B12 and some vitamin D3 is very important. And you can find that in all kinds of fruits and vegetables, not just in uh, supplement forms. And people, people always say, like, oh, don't you get a supplement, man? Pfft. Might as well just stop. Might as well just go eat a steak. And it's like, all right. <clears throat> Let me explain something why I started doing this to begin with. A lot of my family has digestive issues and stomach issues. And the more research I did, I found that a lot of red meats and uh, things like that cause a lot of these issues that they're having. And they don't really want to remedy it. They just want a blanket, like put a fix, take a pill, drink something or medicine or something to, to continue on with the lifestyle that they have become accustomed to. And I fully embrace change in my life. I fully... I like new new situations and I don't mind changing changing things up switching it up trying something different and so <clears throat> for my own personal reasons I became a vegan for me for my body for my own health and I just felt better when I cut out all the red meat at first and then I just went all the way I cut out the chicken I cut out the pork and the steak and the bacon oh my god bacon was pretty hard to cut out let me tell you um, <clears throat> the smell still kind of bacon is still is like Oh, this smells very really good, but the smell of cooking meat repulses me now. Hamburger, steak, and all that shit. It's just like, I'm going to throw up. i got to get out of the room. Uh, that just came uh, eventually. I did, it didn't just auto automatically become a, you know, a stuck-up prude with my meals. Like, oh, you're cooking meat around me? Oh, God, get away. Uh, <laughs> so it was more like just my own health, really. I felt better because of it. And what more do you need? I feel better by not eating the meat. And that's it. And then after meeting enough other vegans and being shown a lot of documentaries and things like that, then I started to realize the real damage being done to all these animals, which let's face it, are sentient life on this earth. And they're creatures just like us. Like, there's no difference. We're, a life is a life is a life. We're all life. And why should we take that away from them? Uh, so, <clears throat> losing my voice here. Bear with me. There's no edits in this show. There's no edits. We just go. We just go with the flow. It's real. It's authentic. So, uh, <clears throat> after meeting a lot of vegans and, you know, becoming... <laughs> inducted into their vegan cult, uh, I learned a great deal about how most of these animals are being treated in the world. And it's just, it disgusted me. I kind of knew already. I had seen some documentaries before, but I just kind of like, yeah, I just shoved them aside. Like, oh yeah, that's just one or two places. And oh, that's only in the States or that's only overseas or whatever. And no, it's happening right here in Canada, in our own backyards, in our own communities. And people even still, they think that like, no, no, all of our beef comes from a, a beautiful pasture out in Alberta where cows roam free for acres and acres and acres. And it's like, no, man, that's not happening. Like, 
that's not at all what's happening. <clears throat> and people just don't want to believe the truth because whatever, whatever reason they have. And uh, so yeah, that was the second part of why I continued, I guess, to stay a vegan. And it really reinforced my ideas of that what I was doing was right and just in the world and that it was a good thing to do, a good positive move on my part. Uh, and then lastly came more religious reasons. So practicing ahimsa to, to harm none and follow these uh, eight limbs, uh, you got to do a lot of things to not be reincarnated again into the world. And so it's just all, it all just ties in with this Hindu philosophy. And see, when, uh, <clears throat> when I was a young kid, I remember looking up at my dad and I said, Dad, what's reincarnation? Because it was on TV or something. And he said, oh, that's when you come back as, as a bug or something later on. He didn't really have a full grasp and understanding of what it, what it really meant, but he explained it the best he could. And I said, huh. And as a young kid, I kind of knew some, somehow. And I said to him, I said, yeah. I'm not coming back again, Dad. And he just kind of looked at me like, okay, not addressing that one. <laughs> uh, what do you say to a little kid who says he's not coming back again? That you're like, wait, you believe that shit? Like, oh, I, I just told you what reincarnation was. You don't get to believe it. Like, <laughs> no one else believes that shit, trust me. But I mean, a lot of people do. And <clears throat> now here's the thing I didn't just jump in believing that shit because of a fucking TV show. Uh, what happened was I was sitting around smoking some dope no <laughs> i was sitting around just having these ideas rush through my head these revelations epiphanies of life the universe and everything and it all came to this one concept and so i remember writing it all down just like wow i just have this great idea about i don't know if this could be a movie or if, what, what's going on if it's a book i should write or something and i remember writing all this these ideas down and and being out at, at a party one time, at a house party, and I remember telling this to somebody, and I said, all my ideas, I gave them all out, and they said, dude, that's, that's like Hindu religion, like, have you ever read, the, read about that before? And I said, no, I haven't, and so I immediately went home and started to research, like, well, what the fuck is Hinduism? And then I found out about Hare Krishna, and, and, and everything, and, and Ram, and, and all this other stuff, and it just really resonated with me and it really reflected everything that I had just come up with on my own. And I was like, wow, this is great. You know, millions of people already believe this, what I just came up with on my own. Like it's already been written 3000 years ago in ancient texts and I just came up with it. And then I thought like, fuck, maybe I didn't come up with it. Maybe I've tapped into some kind of stream or something. And anyways, relating this all back to diets and everything, it all comes back to not being reincarnated again and having to go through this this life this lifespan on earth again and i just believe that you know these people knew what they were talking about and all these other previous things with my health and then later the documentaries and the friends and everything it's all kind of all culminated to this one point where i'm at now and i'm happy with it and i'm good with it so that's where i'm at and that's what i do so Another little thing I wanted to touch down on was uh, the meal plans. Meal plans go as such really quickly. Uh, <clears throat> breakfast. I have the largest meal for breakfast. So I start out with the mashed potatoes, uh, the pastas, things like that. All your carbs, you get that out of the way in the morning. You have your biggest meal of the day in the morning because you do the most in the morning. You've got all that day until noon to burn off all those calories. I mean, you might have a little snack in between, but you probably won't. If you have a big meal for breakfast, you'll just go and go, 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 go. You might even not have a lunch on time with where you think lunch or where your employer tells you to eat. These aren't always the, the best way to navigate your own uh, body systems because everyone's different. There's no blanket approach to anything. You can't just force someone to go eat when they're not hungry. And it's really not good for your system. So, I taper things off after that so lunch starts to go down a little bit and maybe just like you know a head of broccoli with some hummus and a cucumber or half a cucumber something like that and then we continue on through the day getting little smaller snacks so that in the evening you're maybe just eating a little bowl of quinoa and then later at night 
I still eat a couple potato chips. It's, you know, it's the la the most least evil thing that, that I do. And uh, that's it. So taper it off, start out big, go small by the end of the day, by nighttime. See what happens is at night you'll have all this fat stuff in you. So you've eaten a lot of a lot of fat stuff in the day. Any any food at all can get turned into a lot of carb <laughs> Where are my words? Calories are going to get turned into fat, especially at night as your body starts to go down into sleep mode. It starts storing fat cells and not digesting them. So that's a thing. And staying in a ketosis. So trying to not eat anything late at night, trying to stretch out what's after dinner at night to breakfast and even pushing your breakfast a little bit further is good. And uh, yeah, just it really helps with uh, not only weight loss, but energy stores and your overall health and vitality. And that's it for today, folks. Have a lovely day or evening or morning or whatever it is. Peace.